Hey, Jordan Bradford here with the Trinell Financial Group. I hope everyone's having a great day. I uh, just wanted to reach out and uh, give a little uh, synopsis on uh, the stay-at-home uh, order that we've been under now for about seven weeks here, uh, and just some of my thoughts on uh, how we've handled it and how it's uh, affected us directly, uh, just to give you guys a sense of kind of what's going on in, in our world. Uh, so, I, you know, really, you know, I sent a video out uh, pretty early on on some of my initial thoughts on how this was going and working from home and all of that. And uh, as we are on the verge of getting ready to uh, reopen our offices here uh, later this month uh, and get back to, uh, you know, working from our main office here in Libertyville, I just wanted to share a few thoughts that I had on uh, some things that uh, that have changed and uh, little uh, uh, you know challenges that we have we faced and, and and things that I think are are also some good things. Um, you know, one of the main things that I've noticed is you know working from home you can be really really efficient, uh, but there are different types of distractions at home uh, than there are uh, when you're in your office at work. I think one of those uh, obvious ones is just home projects, right? You know, you're around the house, you're uh, taking a break between calls or between Zoom meetings, and uh, you see something that needs to get done, and you're like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, um, which in a normal circumstance is great, but when you're working from home every day, uh, that can be a real challenge to, uh, you know, compartmentalize what you need to do and really say, you know, these are the hours I'm working, and these are the hours... I'm going to uh, do my home projects or, or, or spend some time relaxing, maybe getting away from the work aspect of things. Um, so that was a, those are some challenges that I've faced, and I think we've all probably faced those to an extent, is just how to uh, properly time block uh, when you're working remotely like this, especially in such a sudden environment where we went from, you know, everything was kind of operating as, as, as always, and then it was like, you know, within 24 hours, we were, you know, working remotely and having to figure out <clears throat> scheduling and all of that. So that was one of the main takeaways that I've had from all of this. Um, you know, another thing that I, I thought I would share with everybody is, uh, you know, that we have also, you know, experienced some some challenges, too, when it comes to, uh, you know, our personal schedules. Uh, many of you know, and some of you do not know, but uh, I was supposed to be getting married here uh, in the first couple weeks of May here. So uh, we're coming up close to when that date was supposed to be. Um, and uh, as it uh, so happens, of course, we had to uh, make some changes and, and, and move that date back. Um, I also have a number of friends who uh, were scheduled to get married uh, this year who have had to change some of their wedding plans as well. So um, I can certainly relate to the, you know, uh, the, the challenge that comes from having to, you know, rebook flights, uh, you know, deal with hotels and, and airlines and, uh, you know, event planning companies and, and really just trying to navigate this as they're trying to navigate it as well. So uh, I think we've been really um, focused on being patient and understanding that, you know, hey, this is a challenging time for everybody. Um, but that is one of the things that, uh, you know, we had to make a, a, an adjustment to and, and make some changes in what we were planning on doing this year and when we were planning on doing um, some of our events, including obviously getting married. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, getting that done and, and, and really, you know, having that wedding. Um, but uh, at the same time, you know, we have to wait a little bit of time so that we can do it safely with our family and friends and really, uh, you know, make this uh, a good experience. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you so you knew, you know, hey, you know, if, if you're sitting there thinking, you know, am I the only one who had to had to make a big change with, uh, with an event that I was uh, doing or some travel that I had, you know, there's a lot of us out here that had to do that. So um, if you have questions or, or, or need some advice on how to uh, navigate through this. I'm happy to talk that through with you and share with you my experience in, in a little bit more uh, detail. Um, but uh, we are really looking forward to getting back in the office, knowing that things will change. Things will be a little different than how they were before, um, but just looking uh, forward to having some of that face-to-face -face interaction, um, even if it is at a distance, even if we uh, you know, are uh, going to be wearing masks and uh, taking all these extra precautions. 
Uh, I think it'll be a really good step in the right direction for all of us as a society uh, to start getting back to uh, some some degree of normalcy um, with our with our daily work routine. So. Um, other than that, you know, we've been doing well, uh, and uh, the the stay at home order, I, I believe, has been you know effective, and we've been uh, doing a good job as a, not just as a company, but you know, here in Libertyville and Lake County, of uh, just taking it seriously because we've got to you know get on the other side of this as soon as we can. So, uh, if you have any questions or just want to uh, you know ask me uh, you know about anything related to working remotely or some some ideas you're having or, or things you're struggling with, I'm happy to be. Uh, soundboard for you, uh, or I'm just happy to give you some advice if that's something that you need to. So feel free to reach out to us. We look forward to speaking with you or seeing you in person as soon as we can. Um, but uh, until then, have a great rest of your day and uh, uh, try to enjoy this uh, warm weather that we've got coming up here very soon. Uh, so uh, you can reach us at 847-680-9050. Thanks. Have a great day.